What's up, world? This is Mike Thompson, and welcome to Mike Drops Episode 2, Blazing BPR Renders. Whether you're a character artist at a AAA game studio or trying to get top row on ZBrush Central, this time-saving tip is for you. Okay, I'm starting with my Apocalypse Sculpt in ZBrush. I'm going to get the view that I want, which is pretty much just his head and his neck piece, and position it on the screen where I want it to render. I've set up the lights the way that I want. The good thing about this, though, is you can load in lights that you've saved or reposition the lights and render at any time. So in the interest of saving time, I've sped up the render on my screen, and I'll let that process. Once it's done, I'm going to go to the top of my menu bar where it says Layer. Now, it's tricky. Don't select Layers on the right-hand side. You go to Layer, and I'm going to drag it down into my palette so it's easier to find. And then I bake that layer. Once that's baked, I create a new layer and draw out my model again. Uh, and repeat the process. I will uh, position him at a different angle and go ahead and render. Once that layer is done rendering, I can show you now I have two layers on the screen. Now that I have those layers rendered and baked, I can go in and using the Displace H and Displace V, which is horizontal and vertical, move them, position them where I want them on the screen. So you can see I slide over the horizontal tolerance to the left, then I can move my image over and make room for another render. So once that's done, I just repeat the process yet again, create a new layer. Uh, drag out my model, and this time I decide I want to use my poly paint information. So I go in, turn on poly paint, and let that render. You can see I get a nice render, um, but uh, let's say, for instance, I don't want that. I don't want that angle. So I can hit clear and it will clear the layer and I can just draw out my model again and repeat the process. So I want more of a profile, kind of an angle, more dynamic. So I draw that out, let it render. Bake it and I'm happy. It looks pretty nice. So I draw out one more image to show that uh, strong profile with no color information, bake that, and it's pretty much done. Now the great thing about this is I never had to go to Photoshop. Um, so I'm saving time. If you're working at a studio and you have to do a quick change to a character, uh, you, you know, you're under a deadline or whatever, this is perfect for you. Or if you just want to throw something up on Facebook and get some uh, feedback without having to go into Photoshop, you have that option. So that's today's Mic Drops. Please like, share, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at Mike T Artworks. Hashtag Mic Drops if you want to suggest future shows. And uh, you can see my work at MikeTArtworks.com. Take care. As always, if you find any of these drops helpful, please give me a follow on Twitter.